This movie was shit. So he starts off in a Muslim dominated gully where our protagonist, Aziz Ali, played by Farhan Akhtar, is your conventional gully boy come ass kicker. The guy's making a living out of beating the shit out of people as he's a Vasudi for Jafar Bhai, a loan shark played by Vijay Ras. After a horrible fight in which you can literally see Farhan's punches missing the guy that simply can't wait to fly away after getting hit. Farhan goes to a doctor to get some stitches where he meets his love interest, Vinal Thakur. The movie is about how this grown-ass, almost middle-aged man gets inspired like he's fucking five years old. After seeing Muhammad Ali box for the first time on YouTube, he learns to box from scratch, from scratch, and magically dominates the entire country's boxing champions in a matter of months, simply because he has that sheer fucking will. The movie is basically his rise, his fall, and his rise again. The movie is Southpaw done bad. Hell, it's Sultan done bad. I didn't think that was even possible. Actually, in all fairness, Sultan is somewhat fun to watch. Cliche, but fun. Now, the segments of Gully Boy Farhan are fairly watchable. Typical Bollywood banter shit and uh, reasonably entertaining. Like I said, watchable. And that's only for about one-fourth of the movie. <laughs> Even the training montage was decent. Not some Dharmendra shit, thankfully. The moment the state level fights start, oh god, fuck me sideways. Why don't they get a decent stunt director for the fight scenes? It's not a regional film or a low budget film, it's Bollywood for crying out loud. Am I wrong to expect better from Bollywood? Well, yes, apparently. It's really unfortunate, especially when you have an actor that's busted his balls to learn some basic technique and get in shape for the role. We're talking about a guy that's in better shape than every single person in the movie. Literally every person. Plus the guy's 47. What the f- He looks fantastic for his age. But this guy's physique in the beginning of the movie is so unbelievably good that it's comical. The guy was ripped out of his mind. The sound design for each time a punch is thrown in this movie sounds so artificial and just straight up bad. Don't feel realistic at all. Fights are shot in such a way that when a punch is thrown, you see the facial expressions of the guy throwing the punch. Quick cut to the fist making slow motion contact on the opponent's face. And a quick cut again to a close up slow motion shot of the opponent moaning in pain. With his sweat drops is flying around and his face looking like Play Doh in slow motion. Horrible. Never shoot action with multiple cuts in a boxing movie. It just straight up ruins the movie and it's lazy and it looks pathetic. Let's take a look at scenes from the rest. A nice long shot that slowly pans in closer, but not to the point that it becomes a close-up shot. A shot which captures the entire ring. The crowd, the referee, the actual fight in its entirety. Combinations of hits, jabs and uppercuts without any cuts in the footage that aren't absolutely necessary. We get to see the entire body of the fighters from head to toe, which makes us live that tension when they go toe to toe in the movie. The enormity of the Russian fighter in Rocky IV in comparison to Rocky himself, and mind you, Rocky IV is one of the bad movies, is perfectly shot in every moment of their standard. It's sad to see that a film that came out a era ago still wipes the floor with this garbage movie. There's a mandatory cliche rock song for his retribution training montage that isn't even that memorable. I hate how easy they make it look. Talent can only take you so far. Practicing 8 hours a day for a month does not always make it better than practicing 4 hours a day for 2 months. Bhag Milkha Bhag, Chakte India, and Dangal, Mukkabaz, Iqbal were so good simply because they show you the effort that goes into winning. Even after all that effort, it's what you do in the last moments of the last match that decide who wins and how. Shadow boxing three months before a national level championship with experience from five to six years ago can't make you win 
a championship. Sorry. According to most of these movies, motivation wins medals. This is really, really wrong, especially in the domain of competitive sports. I also strongly detest how there are literally no tactics or tips and tricks provided by the coach in the final fight. Tell him he's fighting for a particular person and not a medal, and he goes for a fucking knockout and just wins. Why? Because he's got motivation. Nah, that's not how competitions are won. Motivation will push you harder in your training, and it's that training, a combination of intensity and time, that makes you win competitions. And you definitely need to spar with other opponents in a game like boxing before you go to a national level championship and win. Then there's the lazy Hindu-Muslim problem that's barely explored to the depths that you'd like it to go to. The problems that the two lovers face is never really something that we're allowed to care about because as convincing as the performances are, the screenplay just cuts to the next story arc. And when this happens, all traumas of the past are completely conveniently forgotten. The emotions of Aziz Ali, his relationship built on the foundation of respect with Ananya, played surprisingly well by Mrinal Thakur who I last saw on Super 30. The conflict their relationship causes within his training, his career, his neighborhood, all this is what could have built a kind of unique identity for this film. They never focus on these things. And yet, they stretch the movie to a very agonizing two hours and 40 minutes. As for the good in the movie, Parish Ravel acts well in the movie. And there's no surprise there, as much as I hated his character in the movie. Nimal Thakur is a good fit for the role and makes the acting look quite effortless. Farhan Akhtar, on the other hand, has gone all out with the maximum effort look. The man looks like freaking sculpture in this. Always ready for that sweaty, oily, shirtless training montage shot, bicep veins popping out in every single shot. His acting itself is also very, very good. As a person that doesn't know anything about boxing, he convinced me that he could perhaps throw a punch or two. He captures a very different emotion from the innocent one he had throughout Bhag Milka Bhag. And I appreciate him for that. Actually, full marks to Farhan. To conclude, the movie is just trash, guys. Just watch Mukhtabaz and thank me later, because that's really the only good thing that can come out of this review. I give it a 39 out of 100. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do that. It help out the channel a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And have a good time at the movies, guys. And do not watch this movie, for fuck's sake.